Yo, what's up everybody, Akeem Lewontin here, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, a live action God of War series is officially happening, Patty Jenkins is re-enlisting to direct Star Wars Rogue Squadron, and new updates on Netflix's My Hero Academia movie. Yeah, it's happening in live action, baby. Let's drop it. Boy, now we had heard rumblings that Kratos and Atreus might be embarking on a new live action adventure, but a press release from Sony this morning confirms it. God of War is being adapted into an original series on Prime Video. Now, from the sound of things, the show will closely follow the premise of the 2018 game and will follow Kratos as he journeys with his son Atreus to the highest peak of Midgard as a final request from his late wife, getting tangled up with some Norse gods in the process. As for who's making this happen, Rafe Judkins will be showrunner and executive producer. Now, he previously worked on Wheel of Time, another epic fantasy Amazon series, and Mark Fergus and Hawk Otsby, whose credits include Iron Man and Children of men will be writing as well as executive producing. Now, if none of these credits are doing it for you or you think this show could use another executive producer, well, you'll be happy to know Corey Barlog, creative director of the original 2018 game, will also be heavily involved. Of course, the big questions now are who's playing Kratos and when will this show premiere? And we'll definitely keep you posted on that, but considering his awesome performances in the last two games, I'm hoping Christopher Judge reprises his role. Or bring back T.C. Carson, the original voice of Kratos. That man's pretty cool. Now until then, we'll have The Last of Us series hitting HBO next month to tide us over, but Amazon is apparently doing the same thing. And in addition to God of War, there's also a Fallout show on the way. And Fallout is technically an Xbox property now. A console wars meet streaming wars. Now it sounds like video game shows might be the new superhero movie. Which, speaking of, we recently reported that Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984 director Patty Jenkins would not be returning for Wonder Woman 3. Now, there's been a lot of he said, she said about this, and here's some more. Patty says she did not walk away from the project over creative differences, as previous reports claimed. More interestingly, her Star Wars movie Rogue Squadron is not dead. Now, in a post on Twitter, the director explained that she's not one to air dirty laundry, but felt the need to correct inaccuracies and called the reports of her leaving Wonder Woman 3 attractive clickbait. Huh. Now, from the sound of things, Wonder Woman 3's cancellation might have been a casualty of recent shakeups following the WB Discovery merger and the new long term plan for the superhero universe under James Gunn and Peter Safran. Either way, Jenkins explained that the reason she'd initially stepped away from Rogue Squadron was due to scheduling conflicts with Wonder Woman 3. But now that that movie's not happening, her schedule just opened up, and apparently she and Lucasfilm made a new deal to actively develop the Star Wars project. Now, there's no guarantee it'll actually happen, but S-foils locked into attack position are better than crashing into the side of the Death Star. Sticking with the running theme of streaming adaptations and superheroes, we've been hearing about a live-action My Hero Academia movie since August, but we've got some updates. Now, for starters, Netflix is officially distributing the movie with Legendary Pictures producing. Shinsuke Sato, whose credits include Alice in Borderland, will direct, and Joby Harold will be on writing duty. Harold's most recent credits are on the Disney Plus Obi-Wan Kenobi series, so make of that what you will. Now, bear in mind, Disney Plus shows and Star Wars projects tend to have quite a few cooks in the kitchen when it comes to storytelling. Netflix hasn't had the best track record for in-house anime adaptations between the now infamous Death Note movie and the short-lived Cowboy Bebop series. Now, that hasn't slowed the streaming giant down, though, and there's still a One Piece series and another live-action Death Note on the way. Believe it or not. A legendary entertainment's track record for adapting huge Japanese properties is a bit better between the Godzilla Monsterverse and Detective Pikachu. I don't know, it could go either way with this one. What, what are your thoughts on this? Should real people be allowed to be anime characters or should anime stay two-dimensional? Let us know in the comments. And that's your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem. Now, if you're curious about something that isn't based on something else, check out our review of Avatar The Way of Water. And for everything movies, TV, games, and entertainment in general, keep it right here on IGN.